Hello and welcome to Phone Arena's in-depth video review of the T-Mobile Tap, which is currently available right now. It's one of the first devices from the Chinese manufacturer Huawei to hit the U.S. market. It's your traditional looking candy bar touchscreen phone and it really doesn't uh, try to be too flashy in its looks. We're going to take a look if it has enough features uh, to really be compelling enough for customers in the U.S. to look at. It's not a bad thing that the T-Mobile Tap takes a conservative approach to its design. We definitely like the uh, usual looking touchscreen candy bar form factor that we've seen used heavily in other devices. The uh, blue soft touch, touch material that they utilize on the back and also on the front feels really good in the hand and doesn't get the uh, device too dirty. At the same time, it does provide for a pretty good grip. Size though, it's fairly well sized and has a resemblance close to the uh, recently released Samsung Highlight. Weight, it's a fairly, it has a good weight to it. Uh, it's neither too heavy or too light and just perfect for this type of device. Powering on the phone for the first time, you'll be greeted to its 2.8 inch QVGA display which has support for up to 262,000 colors. Now just comparing it to other touchscreen phones, the display wasn't as sharp or responsive as we liked it to be. On top of that, colors did look a little bit washed out and just didn't have, uh, didn't seem to uh, stand out as much. Sometimes text also uh, looked a little bit fuzzy depending on the application you run. Now right below that you have your hardware buttons, typical layout, your send end key and directional pad which are all well sized. On the right side you have your dedicated camera button, lock on lock and your volume rocker. And the top you have your mini USB port for charging and also the power button which is a little bit hard in getting it uh, to press. On the back you have a 2 megapixel camera with speakerphone. And when you remove the back cover it gives you access to the battery, SIM card slot and the micro SD card. The T-Mobile Tap's interface looks similar to what we see on TouchWiz devices on, with Samsung. On the left side, you have your selection of widgets which you can place on the home screen. For the most part, most of them are just uh, icons that actually launch the full program applications themselves. Um, it kind of has a gimmicky look to it and as we said, is very similar to what we see on TouchWiz. It doesn't offer the depth or you know really neat factor with it. When you get to the main menu, it does have a transition effect, uh, which is heavily used throughout the device. At times though, we do notice that the phone kind of stalls at different points or different application you run. But it's really simple and straightforward with its uh, finger size friendly icons. Sending messages on a T-Mobile tap can be either a frustrating or a pretty good experience depending on which uh, input method you actually use. Now the one we have right now is the numeric keypad with T9 uh, on just to give you a, l a little bit better predictive option as you type your, your messages. So it's really quick just because buttons are a little bit bigger um, and we prefer this method at all of them. When you turn to its side, it'll give you the uh, full QWERTY keyboard but the phone, the screen is just a little bit unresponsive and whenever we did try to speed type, we didn't notice making a lot of mistakes and, and the device just had a hard time recognizing our presses. So we just prefer the uh, numeric keypad with T9. For being a touchscreen phone, the uh, T-Mobile Tap's web browsing experience really took us back. We were kind of really disappointed with its uh, overall experience. Now our site took approximately over two minutes to fully load and we always saw the uh, device constantly re-rendering the page to uh, load up everything correctly. Scrolling could be a little bit an issue just because it's a little bit um, unresponsive and laggy at times. Zooming in, you could use the bar, you could press the icon and there's a bar on the right side here that allows you to zoom in and zoom out. But if you do try to zoom in slightly, it's going to refresh the whole page and of course uh, re-render everything again which is just a nightmare just trying to uh, you know use the uh, web browser. We actually like the uh, music player that's loaded on the T-Mobile tap. It's just a really basic looking one, but uh, we do like the equalizer look to it on the left hand side. Uh, as far as the speakerphone is concerned, volume was pretty good, had pretty good tones. It didn't have a, quite of a, a strong presence to it, but uh, it didn't crackle at all. And whenever you do go back to the home screen, we'll continue to play in the background and give you this little bit of notification just to remind you. For a touchscreen phone, we were really shocked with the uh, T-Mobile Taps experience watching videos. As you can see as we're playing this movie trail, it's really choppy looking and just has a hard time catching up with the, even the most uh, you know basic video resolutions. When you turn to its side to landscape, it does slide a little bit better as far as uh, being uh, um, pushed out towards the whole length of the screen. But still, as you can notice, just a choppy look to it and just really has a hard time catching up. Using the 2 megapixel camera and the tap to take images, um, photo quality came out average at best with even the best lighting conditions. 
indoor shots had a tendency to have some uh, you know darker tones to the overall shot and colors looked a little bit on the neutral side when you do try to take a video on the uh, T-Mobile tap it has only a maximum resolution resolution of 240 by 320 so videos captured with it ha were extremely pixelated and a little bit choppy so it's probably best reserved for MMS use phone call quality on a T-Mobile tap was a disappointment to say the least First of all, the biggest and glaring issue we had with it was the constant hissy static sound in the background on our end that made talking seem like as if we were on a walkie-talkie. Callers did state that our voice did sound clear on their end. Even when you switched to the uh, speakerphone, we still heard the same exact static sound, which again just made it really difficult to converse with the other person. As far as battery life is concerned, we managed to get a solid 12 hours of talk time, which is more than exceeds the manufacturer's rating of 5 hours of talk time. Retaining signal had no problems with the uh, T-Mobile tap. It managed to keep 3G speeds uh, better than most T-Mobile phones. At the same time, we didn't have any drop calls or any issues with that. It's really difficult to see the T-Mobile tap winning over customers with its design and also usability. With all the issues it has from phone call quality to the web browsing experience, uh, it had just too many problems to really stand out and be a usable device. So as far as being a first, first device for Huawei, the Chinese manufacturer, we're a little bit disappointed with its results. And we could probably find better devices out there like the Samsung Highlight for a lot better, more, more usability and also better experience. If you want to check out a review, you can check out our website at phonerena.com.